You know, I still wonder if YouTube would ding me for playing like the last three seconds of a copywritten track. I bet they would. I bet they're just that big of assholes that they would give us a strike just for that. I mean, we did get banned in seven countries a couple of weeks ago. That was pretty cool. Yeah. Nah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Your Excellency, it's good to see you. Welcome back think, to uh, Get Fact Harder. This the I, I like Let's yeah. turn the echo down off here. Let's go out of God Just mode. a little. Just a little. And to re-enter mortality here with the hoi polloi's and the plebiscites here. But it is March right, 28th, there. 2024, Yona. We're almost done. We're almost done with the Ides of March. Just a couple then, more uh, days. And then we'll open up a fresh can of April whip ass. That's right. That's right. Mercury goes April. retrograde April 1st. Happy because, birthday, you know, Steve. April comes from the opening, right? That's when the blooms are opening, the buds are opening. April, abril in Spanish, A B R I L, just like the verb A B R I R, I want to say, abrir. Abrir, to open. Which means. Open, like, abre la puerta, por favor. Right? Open the fucking door. Or, si, senor. I, abracadabra, right? Abra. Yeah. Because guess what? Yeah. That's some Arabic shit there. But in, actually, in Arabic, it would be ifta el bab. Bab means door. Like, have you heard of the bab al bab mandab means door. straits on the, on the Red Sea? The bab al mandab straits. Okay. That, I'll take that's your word between for it. Yemen and Djibouti, right, right at the crack of Djibouti there, um, and you know, and then running across to Yemen between um, Khodeida and uh, Sanaa, the capital city. It, there's a real narrow choke point. Like, imagine if you would, if the um, if the Red Sea is a uterus, then the Baba Mandab would be like a cervix. That makes Except sense. Except it's overrun by Houthi yeah. rebels with, you know, drones made of sticks uh, that are still hitting their target. It, it's amazing to see the um, technological advances that the Houthi rebels have made just using mere sticks and pieces of trash and old tin cans and putting propellers and bombs on them and boom! Instant... Uh, you know You'd Thick be amazed. You'd Houthi be amazed drum. what some human ingenuity can do, Yona. I'm telling you, buddy. Yeah. Where there, I mean, it it proves the 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 hackneyed old saying, right? Where there's will, you know, there's way. God damn it! If you're determined to do it, a human being is going to figure out how to do it. It might, you know, cost a few lives in the end, but we'll figure it out. is the mother of invention. You know, right. a, a, a particularly when we're talking about a Zionist blockade to, you know, stand in solidarity with a bunch of starving um, brown Arab people. You know, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, uh, I, I bought the last two. Well, now three day. Well, did I say bought? Bought's kind of a hard word there. That's a little bit too transitive in terms of verbs for me. I'm going to say acquired came to be in possession of three newspapers uh last three days in a row of uh, the uh huntington paper um but might be a little name. strong is what you're saying <laughs> yeah uh well it's called the town rag right, right, town, right. you know local town rags because you know i thought you know i really liked that the other day you know we were getting back harder and i was getting at it well, yeah, I went through and I read the articles and I thought, well, I could take a picture of this and share it. And then they still print news. I got to reading through it. And I'm like, these articles are just total, complete shit. Like, honestly, after about the second article, when I went over to read it from the Charleston Gazette, after I read it in the, huh, I still didn't mention the Huntington paper, did I? No. Fuck you, Huntington. <laughs> Anyways, um, 
Because the Huntington articles were had to have been written by AI. Grammatical errors. Oh, words yeah. Misspelled. Oh, it's getting bad, too. Like, bro, somebody, nobody even fucking proofreads? Or, uh, God damn, man. So I said, fuck it. You know what? I'm just going to rip it. I got the main gist of it. We got we got Drizzle there in the main command post of um we're gonna call it the Western base for the Grand Theft World Edge because you know the home base is a little bit further east. Um about well, I wanna say it's about a two and a half hour drive north of Baltimore, but now that the Francis Scott Key Bridge is sitting in the middle of Boston Harbor. It might take you a little bit longer. It's going to take a little, a little bit. bit longer because you can't take that 695 and hit those toll boots anymore, buddy. You're going to have to plow right smack through the middle of some Baltimore to get further on up north from the Virginia lands there because um, um, that old um, hump that he hump, um, I, I call it, you know, I used to call it the Humpty Bridge, the Hump Bridge because right. like, both sides of the bridge, the approaches are like literally right at sea level, which is, you know, Chesapeake Bay. Yeah. Um, I've, I've just driven like, across the key bridge many times in my life. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, it's just like you're on the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel. Yeah. You know, it's like, you know, you're just kind of like on this little causeway thing or like Lake Pontchartrain Causeway going into New Orleans, Louisiana. Same thing. You know, you're basically 10, 20 feet above sea level. And all of a sudden, there's this monster fucking steel beast that just humps way the fuck up to where, you know, by the time you're in the middle of the key bridge over the um, the Baltimore Harbor Ship Channel, it's it's got to be. I, fuck, I think the clearance underneath that bridge is like 130 feet or something. Something like that. Fucking ridiculous. Yeah. And, you know, it's so steep going up and so steep coming down. I mean, it's just over the years, it's just gotten more and more fucking antiquated. They don't build roads like that anymore that are on the interstate system. Just always been a really dangerous bridge. Um, And, you know, known for its huge hump, um, which is why when Joe Biden mentioned that he used to take his Delaware commuter train across the Francis Scott Key Bridge from Delaware to D.C. Yeah. Um, well, it turns out the Northeast Corridor, which carries all Amtrak trains to and from Richmond, Virginia, to Boston, Massachusetts, in fact, the train does not go up and over the six and a half percent road incline and decline on the uh, approaches to the Francis Scott Key Bridge because um, most standard gauge rail never exceeds about two percent. Right. So six percent is just crazy town. Um, well, now that's not to say that Joe we Biden is also people. senile, right? Right. Um, so but we no, the, it turns honestly out there, shouldn't be taking anything, or at least that's that's the role that he is portraying. I'll, I just I'll want go to that rest, far with it. I, I want right? all Americans and international current viewers and listeners now and later um, to rest assured. Where's my Denzel Washington meme? <sighs> Sigh of relief. I can assure you, no train commuters, no train passengers were injured when that fucking barge-ass looking rust heap um, plowed into the interstate bridge, the I-695 bridge, the, the, front, the key bridge, right? It's got key. Yeah, I don't know. I still don't know what to make of it. Um Apparently, I was listening to, uh, I think it was OBDM podcast earlier, and they were uh, talking about the uh, master of the ship, who I would imagine is essentially like the captain, right? He's he's the right. dude that kind of oversees the entire operation, right? Uh, yep. 
apparently he's uh, Ukrainian. And, uh, you know, there's also, I remember hearing uh, somewhere, I, I can't remember where, that Zelensky was like threatening the other European countries with violence. Uh, if they didn't send him more money to fund the war. Huh. Did you run across that anywhere? Or am I just fucking making that up? Well, you know, I've heard a lot of different threads about it. And the most telltale sign, I think the the number one raging clue, um, it's actually the first uh, clue that I have written in my notebook next to a blue paw print. Um, and that's when there's the power outage on deck. And you clearly see that the ship is heading in with, with a, a, a consistent speed and a consistent direction, mm -hmm. right? I mean, it, before the lights go out, if you were in a submarine and you're wanting to hit that fucker with a torpedo, easy pickings. Right. Steady course. Steady direction, just plot your fucking thing, make sure that Mark 9 arms board hits that fucker. But in this case, lights go out and it takes a hard cut to the right and hits the fucking gas with power out. Well, yeah, because like, the, the steering actually had a uh, backup power supply. Right. Yeah. So I'm like, it was going to miss the bridge until the power went out and the motherfucker turned hard to the right and hit the fucking gas. So, well, yeah, look to me like the motherfucker good, rammed the bridge. you got to make I, it I look see. good so people will believe that that's what happened. That's why you cut the power. Yeah. Yeah. That's the same reason you it's put up It's also a good way to boards. distract people. You know, that's the same reason they put up poster boards blocking all the glass windows in Atlanta, Georgia, when they're trying to recount the votes right. or whatever, or right. tabulate votes, or or not recount, but count them for the first time. Right. Um, whoa. Because democracy is all about transparency. Everybody knows that, Yona. What's but, wrong? But there's something's going on in the chat here with birds and... I thought birds were real. Are birds not real or birds aren't allowed in the chat? I don't know. I don't run the chat. Oh. Well. Don't you remember you know what? like it's a few like weeks Portland. back we had we had the dude off. in there like uh, screaming about uh, his Jew hate? And we were just yeah. like, all right, whatever, dude. Yeah, that was weird. That that got weird fast. Eh. Um. I knew it was coming. That's where I was like, all right, well, you, you just do what you want, I guess. You know, free speech the funny and thing all is, that. I was looking at the thumbnail again earlier and, um, you know, rumor has it uh -oh. that it was actually none other than Sean Puff Daddy, a.k.a. Sean P. Diddy Combs, a.k.a. Diddley. Yeah, P. Diddley. The Diddler. P. Diddley. Um, the Diddler. Yeah. Um, it was actually That Sean caught on Puffy real Combs, fast, didn't it? Who was the first one, because, you know, Prince William asked him if he could do him a solid and check Princess Kate Middleton for some colon cancer. And, of course... <laughs> P. Diddley obliged and went to groping anuses as he's known for. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. And it's he's the one that found the polyps. Um, and, of course, they, thanks to P. Diddley's um, expert stroke, he, he fingered it out. He fingered out her cancer, and they were cancerous polyps, and that led to you know the abdominal surgery. And then the three-month oh, absence. Yeah, yeah. And, so everything's all good now. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just wanted to make sure all those threads are tied up now. I'm yeah, back yeah, to you, yeah. Drizzle. Had, had absolutely nothing to do with the show that we did last week, which was then no. immediately followed by a a direct response from Kensington Palace. Had absolutely nothing to do with that whatsoever. No. no. That's what you call a coincidence. That's right. 
I mean, you know, the steak was raw and red and still bleeding and kind of twitching. And we put the fucking meat to the fire and now it's a steak wrapped with bacon. I mean, I, I can't say that it's our fault. I mean, sometimes it just happens. You lay down in the sun, you come back a few hours later, motherfuckers, you know, meet him well with the uh, filet mignon treatment. That's right. So there you go. Yeah. Uh, sometimes we, you just can't explain these things. Oh, but there's a, there's a direct causal middle relationship. In the chat, Everybody and can see that. I only posted the parrot, buddy. That we've got an entire avian ecosystem that I oh, can litter the chat with, buddy. Yeah, and Dylan's a moderator too, so you can't kick him out of the chat. Oh no, I I'll fight bird hate with bird love. There you go. That's right. Online, they call that sending tweets. Anyway. Ain't a tweet. Ain't a tweet. Um, so we're up here to the one nine. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I just, I can't, I can't help but think, um, you know, when I went to make the music video for my song, Baltimore Quick Draw, I had two choices. The first choice was driving down the interstate over the key bridge. And the second choice was driving in the shittiest, nastiest parts of Baltimore. And I went with the choice. ghetto trip, of course, you know. And so we just went with the ghetto trip that just circles the ghetto right on fucking Crack Alley and, and Hooker Row and all that stuff. So, um, but unironically, was it yesterday that that happened? Was it last night? The bridge collapse? Last night. Yeah. Oh. Key Bridge was hit last night, I think. I think it was two days ago. But I could be wrong. Tuesday. I think so. Well, last night, late last night. Yeah, I think it was Tuesday, as a matter of fact. With none other than Baby Dog sitting in his lap. Mm. Literally with minutes to spare. Governor Jim Justice of the great state of... Uh, Western Virginia. <laughs> That's such a joke. West. It's not Western. It's West. Because there is a Western Virginia. That's bland. Although it's rather spicy and bland, ironically. Uh, yeah, but nonetheless. It's, it's the inbreeding. Right. Yeah. 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 And plus, you know, when they eat their, their soup beans with bacon and hog meat, they put that chow chow on it. You know, that, that hot spiced cabbage and stuff. Because mm -hmm. it, it, it's Western Virginia. Yeah, it, yeah, Bristol and I mean, it, it's I'll basically explain. hill country. Yeah, Whitfield and you know I'll explain all that later. Anyway, you know, you, you get past Blacksburg, basically cover your butthole and listen for banjo. Anyways, um, so Jim Justice West it's Virginia funny governor because it's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It lands because you know you're right there in the middle of the water. You just come off the fucking diving board, no splash, tens all around. Uh, I guess I should preface this uh, with a few um, non sequiturs here. Um, for those that are unfamiliar with the state level type government -y things in um, Worst Virginia, um, like Brought Worst Virginia, um, the governor of West Virginia is the most powerful governor of any of the governors of all 50 states. Hmm. Because of the relationship between the governor and the legislature in West Virginia. Everyone in the West Virginia state legislature has regular day jobs. And it's kind of like, imagine it, it would be the same thing as like serving in the National Guard, okay? Being in the West Virginia legislature. You just do basically two weekends a month. And then you do one month out of the year. Yeah. And and during that one month or, well, six-ish weeks, roughly, it, you have your unofficially what's called the 60-day legislative session. And so whatever bills, whatever laws are going to be contemplated and passed on for the year, you got less than two months to get them all passed through the Virginia House delegates and the Virginia Senate, state Senate. Um, and this year, 
you know, once again, there's, you know, hundreds of bills from the House and hundreds of bills from the Senate, all told maybe, I don't know, maybe around, was it 380 or 450 or a lot of fucking bills, in other words, okay? And it's just a formality that the governor signs them into law because there's another bill that was passed years ago that says that within is it 72 hours, three days, something like that, but within two days or three days or whatever, but like by the hours, like 48 hours, 72 hours, I want to say it's 72 hours, that if the governor has not signed the bills into law within the 72 hours, then it just automatically becomes law because it's the will of the people and it's the people's out. Mm, right. However, however, the governor can veto any specific bill from the House or the Senate. And then it doesn't become law. But he has to do it within 72 hours. And he drug his feet and drug his feet and drug his feet and drug his feet and didn't finally get around to signing these bills until late, late last night. Less than 24 hours ago, moment of truth arrived. First baby dog came out. Then he came out. Baby dog went in the lap. He got the ink pen. It's Jim Justice for talking about, man. <sighs> Boss fucking hog in the boar's nest. Six ass and shit. Anyways. Hey, um, he looks like Boss Hog, too. I'm telling you. <laughs> Wait till you see Lulu. Anyways, um, so he, he gets to sign all these bills and Yet, there's like three out of the roughly almost 500 bills. There's three that he vetoed. One was for something about personnel billing and time off. And uh, another one was about more work requirements for food stamps. Hold, hold up, hold up, hold up. But then the third one was for the vaccination bill. Right. Anyways, yeah. Which was for uh, getting rid of vaccination requirements for students in virtual public schools. So not even in the physical right. public schools, but just doing like online distance learning. You got you to go get your jabbies. To do your that's right because learning. the vaccination requirements in the state of West Virginia the are the absolute shit? strictest in the entire country, and so you know you have to realize that Mansion and Justice are Democrats slash Republicans slash ah never fucking mind guns and God and abortion and but with abortion rights. But because, see, Charleston is like a complete liberal fucking Holy neon shit. tampon. 20 organizations sent this dirt bag a letter requesting veto of the bill. Educational and healthcare organizations banded together to urge a veto. But that's the thing about it. The nurses, the doctors, the schools, everybody was for the bill. It passed the House and the Senate with overwhelming majority in support. Yeah, it was the lobbyists that were like, and then oh, it was at the very last second. Big Pharma got a hold of justice. Yep, that's and exactly that's literally one of the zero point three percent of bills that were vetoed. But 99 point whatever point percent of all the other shit got just signed into law. Holy and so, shit. you know, I guess it, it behooves the Yona here. It behooves me greatly to go through the other um, 400 and some odd fucking bills to see. I wonder wow. what they did sign into law. Huh. But yeah, it's outrageous. It is the strictest vaccination requirements in the entire country. No religious exemptions. You can only get a medical exemption, but it has to be individual medical exemption for each and every single shot, every single time. 
Right, go back right. I was seeing that. Primary care physician or your PCP, and then you have to do another key bump. Um, well, remember. You know, the weeds, you don't remember. want to crash off the weeds. Uh, go ahead, back. Uh, enough with the drugs. Anyway. Well, I, Yona, <clears throat> did you forget that West Virginia was a Rockefeller state? Oh, no. No, it's right yeah. there on the terminal when you land at Charleston. Better living That's through chemistry, CRW man. CRW for you airline yeah. passengers. CRW. That's that um, is just connecting your, flights to Charlotte Douglas International. That's right. That is your West Virginia Rockefeller legacy. As many shots as humanly possible. It's literally called the John D. Rockefeller Terminal at Jaeger Field. Um, anyway. Yeah. It's wild. It's wonderful. It's vaccinated. It's West Virginia. Get your shots. Which is then followed by um, the Monty Python guy with his little wagon going down the street, banging his <laughs> Bring pot, out you know? dead. Bring out your dead. Bring out yeah. your dead. Hey, hey, I'm not dead yet. Bonk, bonk. Right, go I'm play some football. soccer. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a, but I'm not dead yet. Well, well, you can go on take him. He's almost dead. Go on then. <laughs> Look at him. Just bonk him in the head. Go on. Off you go. I wonder how... All right. Because I'm having, I'm having a problem letting this Kate thing go. Right? I don't know what it is either. But something is just... Something is way, way off. And I'm not quite you know what? sure I, what it is. I don't believe the story about... Uh, just the cancer. Not not going for that. I I don't think it's oncology. I I, I just I, I don't think the good princess is in the midst of some. Well, it's a good cover. Hospice care. Come on, Drizzle. It's a good cover if you're having something else done in the abdominal area, right? Because that's oh. all she said was an abdominal procedure. Oh, maybe she had a miscarriage. I don't know. I, I proposed maybe she was giving birth to the Antichrist and it went horribly wrong and they had to, they had to fix something uh, down there. Yeah. Well, you got to think about it now. The gestation period for lizard people is different from regular humans. Cause that's what I would about, figure. Right. We're talking about, you know, lizard, different Vlad, the physiologies. Type, right. right. Doesn't, because with Kate and William, you're getting some of that fucking Dracula blood, some of that Transylvanian pedigree. That's right. They're all they're all descendant from Vlad the fucking Impaler, the literal inspiration for Count fucking Dracula. Yep. Right. If I I'm, if I remember correctly, I mean I'm really high right now. I could be getting yeah. this totally wrong, but oh, I bet I'm higher than you are. But I'm pretty sure Vlad the Impaler. Is the inspiration for Dracula? For Count yeah. Dracula, which is well, today I, that is the would story. Be King anyway. Chucky, the sausage fingered, who sits on the royal throne and Buckingham Palace, not to be confused with Kensington Palace, where um, Princess Kate is taking her leave for recovery, allegedly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's amazing when you take a, a photo of King Charles and put it next to one of the paintings of Vlad. It's uncanny. Dead like, right. yeah, you can see Dead the right. family resemblance. It's so obvious. I mean, it's like looking at Han Solo and then looking at Han Solo Carbonite. Yeah, it's like literally the, the gene pool in that family has not changed in 500 years. <laughs> Which is just Whoa. astounding. Whoa, Biscotti thinks that Kate has pushed up the little daisy. No, you got to come with more than that, man. You, you, he thinks she's dead. Yeah. Well, I, well, what? Can, well, how with, did she die? Exactly. With what weapon? In what room? And and who was the murderer? Come on, you got you got to bring details, man. And we prefer that you bring receipts. Although it's not necessary. We will entertain good ideas. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put up mine. I'm going to say it was 
Colonel Mustard. Just gotta remember how to spell this. Ayahuasca. Colonel Mustard with Ayahuasca yeah. in the disco room. Okay. All right. Anyways, back to you, Drizzle. I, I just, you know, we gotta keep the chat going here. Oh, yeah. The sweater. The sweater yeah. that she was wearing. Yeah. In the... Yeah, Big H has got it. I think Big H nailed it. We're going to give Big H. Uh, let's see here. Ooh, I got another bowl trying to get We're going to give Big up. H 420 yeah. points. That could be. Uh, and I'm just kind of paraphrasing what he said here. But basically, Kate fell off her hot lizard rock. And got into a somewhere too cold, um, basically. Yeah. Uh, so, but did did you notice, Yona, the the sweater that she was wearing in that video? It was the the blue and white striped design that's so popular with all the pedophiles these days. Yeah. Did you notice that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought that was interesting. It's almost mm -hmm. like you could use it as as like a way to, you know, signal to other people something. You know, without actually having to, like, come out and say it. You know what I'm saying? You know, actually, the thing of it is, when they were doing the abdominal surgery, they cut too deep, and they accidentally just cut her into two pieces. <laughs> but... She, she was a rather not, dainty oh, woman, wasn't she? Since or she's is, a lizard. is, I'm sorry. And it was just basically her tail end that was cut off. It's, you know, it's almost done completely regrowing. Yeah, it, it takes longer with lizard human hybrids when limbs are cut off to completely grow back out. But um, that's one of the cool things about being a lizard person. You know, you, you make sacrifices for Satan, you drink blood, you fuck kids, you can regrow limbs, um, you get to rule the world. Anyways, uh, I don't know. So I, I wonder, know. did you hear that latest speech from Kabbalah Harris? Thankfully, no. I did not. I, I don't think so. Oh, wait, wait. Don't, don't look it up. Don't pull it. I was, about to, I was about to say, if you haven't heard the latest speech that she gave on the campaign trail, um, Yona Pro Tip? Don't. Don't do it. All right. I'll take your advice on that. I mean, it's like they used to I've speak. I've heard her talk before. Yeah, it's bad. Yeah. It's really bad. Um, it's better if she just giggles and farts. Um, I mean, it's not because, really. Like, it's better if she's just like not in the picture. But yeah, um, but if she is going to be there, it's better if she just kind of sticks to the Jar Jar Banks, you know, Misa Haza, <laughs> you know, just Jar Jar Banks at Kamala. Yeah. Um. But, you know, it used to be that Congress and politicians would generally speak to like a freshman in high school level. And then it dropped down to an eighth grade level. And then it dropped down to a fifth grade level. Well, Kamala has just jumped the shark and gone way ahead of the whole pack. And she's now speaking to people like everyone is in fucking preschool admonishing us to not eat the big crowns that are bigger than our thumbs. And to just keep it between the two solid lines and right on the little dashed lines in the middle. Um, I mean, it just is she is she getting ready to step in? Do you think? Has she been? Has get, she been given the, the green light? She's getting awfully presidential like, with the non Yeah, you gotta you gotta start like, acting like teachers help her now. Ooh, ooh, infantilize me harder, Campbell Toe. Yeah. Are are we going like, to see you know, the exit it, of it, Joe it, soon? Her speech mm. was so bad, it it made me, it left me wanting for more Sugar Bear, Kareem, Abdul-Jabbar, St. Pierre, um, Bag of Donuts, or whatever fucking name it. Yeah. Anyway. Because at least her insults are creative. I'll give her that. Yeah. I, I Honestly, I think still think the best line ever from Kabbalah is when she admonishes Latam, uh, Latin America, uh, you know, telling him, 
all of you migrants streaming toward the U.S. border between Mexico mm -hmm. and the United States. Yeah. I'm telling you right now, don't come. Don't come. Oh, that was her. That was her. Don't come. I forgot about that. You know, and I mean, considering it, how much dick she sucked in her entire life, it comes naturally for her to say that out exactly. loud. Exactly. Uh, exactly. You know. And it also comes natural for for all the others to say, oh, oops. <laughs> but isn't, isn't she supposed to be like the borders are or something? Like, there's yeah, been all this all action on are. the border for the last three months, allegedly. So that makes... And that makes where's um, Kamala? Why, what is she doing? What's she doing about it as the borders are? the borders are. are right. And um, boot, booty fudge is the transportation czar, rat boy. Right. So he shouldn't have anything to do with the border. But I've seen about the border. Uh, and rat boy even showed up at fucking... Uh, East Palestine at the Norfolk Southern um, controlled burn toxic trench pit. Oh, yeah, yeah. He did uh, like a 30-minute photo op or something, right? And then apparently Biden did finally show up to East Palestine. A we, year later. Uh, it, it only took a year for the yeah. white noise to finally hit. That's right. DVD. So that means, let's see, uh, he'll be in <laughs> And Lahaina. then he saw it. In what is August? Is that when the fires in Lahaina were? Yeah, yeah. So you'll see oh, Joe in was. August. That's what it was. Yeah, right. At this point, I'm watching all the back episodes of The Simpsons and checking every single store shelf for the latest names of the new Mountain Dew cans because, you know, there's clues to the future. Just consult your local Pepsi Cola bottler and Matt Groening. Anyways, back mm. to you, Driss. Yeah, it's it strange how that all continues to work out. That, how much uh, of the understand. future has been predicted by the Simpsons? Quite a bit. Ah. Quite a bit. Ah. I mean, at this point, I could say, like, literally make a Hold video up. of, like, Did they... 100 fucking things the Simpsons has made. And I would get done with that video and be like, "Son of a bitch!" Did they? Did they there's have? There's going to be a second video. There's, there's the white folks. There's more. But did they have an episode where Diddy got raided by the feds for anything? I don't uh, think it necessarily needed to specifically be that he was getting raided for sex trafficking. Just have the feds come after him for some reason, right? Like that's close enough for me. There is. A vote or die, Diddy. But that's South Park. Hmm. Vote or die, bitch. Right? Memory comes in the door. He's got the gun to your head. I said, vote or die, bitch. P. Diddy. Vote or die. Did, did, were you, did you hear anything about why the FBI was not a part of this raid? Like why it was being done by Homeland Security? Well, why would the FBI raid pedophiles? That would be like punching yourself in the face. Mm. Oh. Right. But isn't that what the FBI is supposed to be doing? Investigating things like sex crimes? I mean, if you think about what... Especially if P. it Diddy, involves trafficking. If you think about the reputation now that's going around about Pete Diddley and everything. And right, then otherwise, you, and then what you the fuck is the FBI, FBI for? Because the FBI stands for fondle boys internally. And that's what Diddy did. I mean, what do you think? You can't grope an anus without accidentally milking a prostate on occasion. I mean, it's, it, you know, it's a, it, it's about digital penetration into different markets. Oh, my um, goodness. And that's why you have to wipe your fingers off when you're done. We just right? lost all the viewers on Twitter. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> bad! It's bad boy entertainment. That's being a bad boy, bro. You check the fingernails. We, check the fingernails. Come on. We offended the slut bots on Twitter. That's terrible, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I mean, 
that that whole song that P Diddy made with um, Biggie Smalls makes sense now, doesn't it? What Which was one? it called? Juicy. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. It makes a lot more sense. That, that's why anytime I ever hang around P Diddy, I never wipe. Keep it extra moist. There you go. Like Peter Pan. I, don't know, I just yeah, I just wouldn't be around him. I wouldn't at all. I never liked him. Never, never liked anything he had anything to do with. So. And it's really got to get weird when you've got a coked up, super homoerotic Cuba Gooding Jr. Talking about, come on, man, you know you want this Quan. You know you want this Quan. And you don't. You don't want this Quan. Mm -mm. Why are you at this party? And no, I don't want you to do a key bump off my penis. I'm keeping my pants on. Thank you. I know you'll give me a thousand dollars to do it, P. Diddy, but there's five cameras rolling right now. I really don't want to do this on camera like you do to all of your other guests. I mean, he's the black Epstein. Am I right, Whitney Webb? I'm, I'm just saying. Anyway, kind of seems that way. Like he Ooh, was, I can't wait. He was the the high. Like he wasn't the top, but he was a high level handler. Is is what it's sounding like, and you know. Because he was how in that many position, people, he was allowed how many certain rappers, liberties. How many Hollywood types? Um, what's that one word they throw around? Mogul. Hmm. Yeah. How many moguls and Hollywood goblins have, have all frequented on many occasions the, the P. Diddler? And now that all this shit's going down, cricket. Oh, yeah. Cricket. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody saying shit, man. Bro, what's he got on these videos, man? What's he got on these pictures, man? That's how it all works. That's what underpins the system is blackmail. That's right. Blackmails matter anyways. Yeah. <laughs> but no, Especially it, when again, it comes to the lineup. It, am I right, police? Anyways, Not that we're uh, trying to do promotion for, for Whitney Webb's books, but that's essentially what she lays out. The, the power structure that controls our world and shapes uh, essentially the future of our society to a, a large extent, it's all underpinned by a blackmail network. That's right. So that if you ever step out of line... There is, you know, there are consequences. There are things that are going to be known to the world that were previously unknown. Yep. I mean, that, that, that's a great career you got there, buddy. I, you know, it'd be, be terrible if something like this actually got out. You know, you know what I'm saying? You get what I mean? You catch my ring? Anyway, have a nice day. Imagine if everybody knew what you did to those children. That's right. Yeah. <clears throat> but I, again, none of it surprised me at all. And, you know, I, 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 I don't want listeners and viewers now and later to get the wrong idea. We're not saying that they're all kid fuckers. We're not saying that all cops beat their wives. Just most. A majority. I mean, uh, majority. she wears the thin blue line on her yeah. face. You know, whatever you consider work. a majority. You don't majority understand. Be. He's that's, keeping that's us safe. He is. And hey, when you're criminalized by the police, you just call the um, Ghostbusters. Call Ghostbusters. If, if the police are the criminals, then you call Ghostbusters and, and listen for the sound of Ecto 1. Anyway. Well, this is fun, Yona. Oh. I don't know if you saw this or not, uh, but there is a school in uh, Wales, uh, home of Deep Kate, Princess of Wales. There's a school that is going to install metal cages, their words, not mine, to prevent students using the bathroom excessively during class time. 
What's the cage for? Well, it's to, to keep you in the, the classroom and out of the bathroom. So it's oh. like, like, you know, have you ever, have you ever gone into like a prison or a jail facility where they right. have like the, the big heavy metal, uh, electronic doors? Yeah. It's like that. Oh yeah. Well then they will just be like a spot in the classroom for kids that have been holding their pee for 40 minutes and finally just are about to pee in their pants. And so, or, or do you just accidents happen? You know, wait a second. They make diapers for all ages. Am I right, Joe Biden? Just have all the kids wear diapers at school. K through 12. Problem solved. You're welcome. Check and make. Uh, next, next, uh, Drizzle. Next. I just, I, I'm, I'm amazed uh, that they're actually dropping that mask now, too. You know, public schools are no longer schools. It's like now there's a school to prison prisons. pipeline. So much so that schools well, there always was. have become prisons. It's almost the like same that. corporations built both. And when I say it's almost like that, I mean like it's 99.9% almost like that, but not completely. No, but it is. Because, you know, there's still extracurricular activities. You get to go out and play in the yard. Um, fuck, it is like prison. Yeah, shoot hoops, lift weights, yeah. yeah. Instead of trustees, you got hall monitors. Right. And you can't just go pee whenever you want to unless you use the bathroom that's in the back of the room where everybody can see you peeing. Um, again, like you're on 400 block. Shout out ramen noodles. Anyways. Uh, yeah, that's there. And I heard. Um, I can't wait to see Hillary Clinton in jail. I would love to see that because here's the thing. When Hillary Clinton gets her first delivery from canteen them. commissary. Them. And, and she gets uh, her first bowl of ramen noodles. Finally, you know, all soggy from the hot water. She's going to want to reach into her purse and get that hot sauce. But guess what, Hitlery? Your purse is in property at the booking desk. No hot sauce for you. Bitch. Stop Back feeding to you, the Drizzle. trolls. Damn it. No, <laughs> I also heard there was there was another school that was forcing students to use an app uh to be able to go to the bathroom during class time and it was so that the school could monitor everybody in the school at the same time so that there could be no more than 10 people in the bathroom at any given time. Oh, that's so you great. had to ask the app for permission to go to the bathroom. You know, it's going to get to the point to where in order to use the poop app, you can't complete your poop app until you actually give the phone uh, a bodily sample, right. whether where it's, you know, blood, urine, um, stool, yeah, or you got to wipe like your particularly ass and amorous. The That's, That's what it'll be. Sample, yeah. anyways. Um, you know, how much do like you love why, your stool? Why would anyone like? I'm sorry, but if they had tried to do some shit like that when I was in school, I'd have just been like, "All right, I'm out. I'm done." I don't, I don't, whatever this is, I don't need to participate in it any longer. Which is pretty much what I did. Give us your kids so that we can experiment on them. Mentally, medically, emotionally, sexually. It's all part of growing up and socializing with your community members. Am I right? Anyway. Because, you know, you're not going to get that Title 10 funding unless you do this, that, and the other. Carrot and stick, bitch. Or just go to private school. Or better yet, you want to get out of those vaccination requirements? Just do virtual schooling from home for the whole year. And, uh, oh, but you're in West Virginia? But you're in West Virginia. Yeah, you exactly. still got to get the shot. Exactly. Sorry. Because, you know, big pharma. You know, it says it on the sign when you drive on I-64 
over the mountains past Clifton Forge from Virginia into West Virginia. You know, driving into West Virginia, it says, Welcome to West Virginia. Wild and wonderful. Open for business. You're like, what the fuck? Business? Yeah. I, I just came here, you know, for some banjo and some butt stuff. And What's this about business? Now, the thing of it is, you get done at your state, the Greenbrier or whatever there, Wild Soul Springs. And you get back on I-64, and you're heading back all the way to fucking Hampton Roads, right? And, and you and you finally back up to the state line. You cross back into Virginia. Whoa, what's this? Welcome to the old Dominion. Virginia is for lovers. Yeah, Allegedly. totally different vibe, isn't it? Allegedly. Totally different vibe. I have yet to find any proof of that. You know what I'm saying? You hit the West Virginia line, it's open for business. God damn, I got to put my suit on. Let me make sure I got this winter not going on. Going the other way, you hit the Virginia line. Virginia's for life. Lose all the clothes. Just drive naked all the way to Charlottesville. You're, you're going to get late. Um, <laughs> it's the old Dominion. Hey, it worked for Dave Matthews, all right? <laughs> so, <laughs> don't knock it. <laughs> Now everybody knows his name. <laughs> it's the Dave Matthews band. There you go. That's right. And that's why Dave Matthews was banned because too much negative stuff. Yep. Anyway. Yeah. Although I heard, I heard his shows were pretty wild back in the day. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, because of the drug. Well, yeah. And yeah. the avocado. Because nobody knew who he was and they could do whatever they wanted. And that was like, Jesus Christ, man. That was like the, the late eighties, early nineties. Holy shit, you could get away with a hell of a lot more stuff back then. Or at least it seemed like it. I was getting away with a lot of shit back then. A lot more than I am now. That's for sure. Uh, I, I have to correct Rob Manel in the chat there. Uh, what did um, Rob says, do now? He, Rob said, uh, prison sex is still getting laid, I guess. Yes, and it is. It's also a fantastic be, song. Um... Prison sex is getting laid when it's consensual. When the prison sex is unconsensual, uh, it's not still getting laid. It, you're not getting laid at that point. That's unfortunate because there, there's too much blood to semen mix. It's like a fraction. You know, there's a denominator and a numerator. And uh, okay, all right. When, when there's not. more blood than semen, then it's no longer getting laid. Non-consensual. It's American incarceration, and that's kind of unique to American prisons. You know, all this shit about butt stuff. It's not like that in other countries. I mean, you know, they you don't have do to butt stuff, sandwich or something like that. But it's not, all this butt stuff, man. The fuck is up with? I mean, again, you know, the kid fucking, the blood sucking, the butt fucking uh, dude, man, Bruh. Well, but all right. So that's the thing, right? All right. Let's say they they uh, they hang uh, Diddley out to dry, right? They throw the book at him. Spends the rest of his life in prison, uh, around a, a bunch of other men. Is that really punishment? Wow. I mean, if if we're being you know honest about everything. If I'm going to make a prediction right now, if P. Diddler actually gets thrown into the clink on these federal charges with HSA, they actually <coughs> put him in federal custody. I think he's going to go out just like White Epstein. Black Epstein mm. is going to make his exit just like White Epstein. He's going to be found dead ish and then they'll be wheeling him in to a hospital down the street and you'll see him on the gurney just like white Epstein saying later dudes I'm dead I mean I'm dead I don't know like bro I just seen him move his hand I don't know if I knew who He's was directly above dead. him I, That's like, I could have a better idea um, of how it's gonna go Oh, now I can't remember. What, what's the girl from Friends, the blonde-haired girl that they 
put down on the gurney and zipped up and then she like unzips it and she's sitting back up on the gurney like hey i'm not dead and hey she- and then they're like oh she's in the hospital and then they're like oh well she died oh she died yeah what was her name and hey and hey yeah. yes she and used to she be married just to got Ellen. done making a fucking video about human trafficking and pedo right. shit and everything that's right swear to god man yeah well that and you know we all know ellen put a hit on her yeah because she's evil i that's what i heard I heard people say that Ellen was evil. Allegedly, the last text message that Anne Hayes read from her phone, she got a message, didn't say it was who it was from, but she knew it was from Ellen, and it was a very ominous message. She said, I'll be there. Anyway. So, Yona... Um, speaking of the, the, um, the weeds, which we weren't, but we might as well now smoke more of the weeds, get back harder. That's right. Oh, oh, which reminds me of, of, uh, hello. What? Uh, uh, I don't want to jump the gun on the merchy merch. Yeah, you go for it. Well, um, and, and that's some big frog type shirts too, right? That's right. Yeah, we've got the, the at, at long last, some high fashion for the high logically minded out there. Uh, and just generally speaking, the high. Uh, smoke more of the weeds. Get back harder. It's Grand Theft World out there. And how better way to keep in touch than Liber- Liberty Radio? And how better to keep yourself all warm and fuzzy? Then with a great new weeds shirt. Yeah, well, the whole we are heading know. into summer, so. Let the whole world know you're about smoking some weeds. And you can either wear this shirt or wear any regular shirt in your smoke room. Make sure you sweat in it. Maybe rub some Cheeto fingers on it, you know. Oh, come on now. And man. that would work, but you're not going to look as fresh, fly, dope, and fucking clean as one of these awesome new unisexy shirts oh yeah uh, uh, I have been assured uh, by Ryan at Big Frog that these are actually given extra special care uh, in the fondling process before right. they get shipped out so you'll know and that your I, shirt I, I has have been good well that they're not actually sewn in Vietnam I, I don't know. I, I don't know what nationality the, the girls in the back are. I really don't. Uh, I, I, I'm fine uh, not knowing that, actually. I do actually. have a green But they frog are available now. Here. Let's look at one of these green frog tags. Well, there's all the laundry. Yeah, they have tags and stuff. And but yeah, there, this it's, is some it's available next now. level apparel trademark. And this was sewn in Honduras. Viva Honduras. Oh, nice. Honduras. There's some Honduran right. children that uh, were able to work because uh, you ordered that shirt. That's right. Yeah. Una camisa hondureña de más calidad. That's right. Oh. That's, that's how you spread the wealth around. That's exactly how you do it. Uh, but yeah, smoke more of the weeds available now in the here's Liberty the thing Radio about it, boutique, folks. ladies and gentlemen. Every one of these big frog shirts that you buy, that's made in Honduras at that Honduras sewing factory, where Hondurans are gainfully employed in Honduras. Just think, with each new shirt that you buy, you're keeping more Hondurans in a job. In Honduras, that's the answer to keeping there you go. the migrants from flooding into the United States. If they got gerbs back home, the fuck you coming here for? Because and then you know Americans might say, well, "But we can't get here. good gerbs around here." Well, yeah, you can't get good gerbs around here. 
because the new gerbils coming across the border, they'll gerby gerb all day long for, you know, three, four dollars an hour. And, and, you know, and when they're like, well, will you work for three or four dollars an hour? Well, fuck no. Well, now you understand why that gooseneck trailer keeps showing that's up right. at Home Depot at 5 a.m. every that's morning. Right. That's right. That's all why brand new faces. Tyson fired all of those people. I mean, you know. Because they knew if you, they could get If you've get got enough labor. money to pay for the triple Coyote trip. I mean, they're running a the business, not a charity. Come on. actually delivers you to a Home Depot. That way you can get straight to work hauling two bundles of shingles up that ladder, one on each shoulder. La Espalda. La Espalda. El Techo. El Martillo. You know, uh, take notes if necessary. We'll teach you Spanish eventually, lesson after lesson. Sooner Martillo or later. is hammer, yeah. right, Pelosi? Um, El Techo is roof, right, Fiddler? Um, and Grope Danis is, hey, what? back to Diddler. So back to you. <laughs> this is about Pete Diddler tonight. Well, not the whole show, because he, he doesn't warrant an entire show. I think we've spent enough time on him. I'm curious, well, it's though. To say it in Spanish, the funny thing is, to say finger and butthole. Yeah. Dado and culo. It's like Diddy and Culo. Diddy and Culo? Dado and Culo. Yeah. Think about it. El Dado and Culo. Finger in the butthole. Anyway. Well, it's, goose. it's like, you dark, know, dark people, goose. people will spend hours talking about, like, Kevin Spacey and what a, a horrible person he is, right? And I'm just like, we know this. Like, continuing to talk about it isn't, Doing yeah. anything to change the situation. Yeah, and, and honestly, so the Yona why? Pro tip. Why bother? The Yona Pro tip always maintain at least seven degrees of separation from Kevin Spacey at all times. At all times. At all times. At all times. Matter of fact, stay double strapped around Kevin Spacey. If you have you a get heads one of those up, medieval you know, um bronze or just stay age double strapped. belt. That that would yeah. be your best bet. Exactly. He he. Honestly, I would like to see a perv off between Diddy and Spacey. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. Celebrity death match. Ooh, and they and they both have to wear the Leatherface uh mask from uh Texas Chainsaw Mask. Mm -hmm. Celebrity death match hell in a cell. Yes. Kevin Spacey perv and off. P. Diddley. It's the celebrity death match perv off. That's right. <laughs> Let's get it on. You can have like Speaking fucking of whips and chains. Series, you know, what happened to our Grand Theft World all Liberty it? Radio fighting series? You went over that we're with still, um, Kodomo's on, right? We're still, uh, we're, you know, we're working the on planning it. Planning phase. Yeah. It's in we definitely got to bring. Preliminary stages at the moment. And by the way, I think when it comes down to the actual fight. I think Wheezy would probably be down to do it. Um. The MC, the 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 Judge Mills Lane, yeah. as it were, got to be Jamie Deluxe, dude. That motherfucker's fire, and he's right over in Myrtle Beach. Yeah, you know. Yeah, South Carolina. Yeah, um, I think that could work. I think that could work. I'm gonna get him like, on I, uh, for an interview. In the yeah, next I few mean, months. I, dude, I, every he, he has developed this whole formula. For his little, um, I don't even want to call them videos. It's almost like a vignette. It's like a little mm. series, and they all have their little intro song. And then he always has his little thing. And I, I, I smoke, and I say fuck a lot, um, but I accept me, and I accept you. Um, you know. Um, and then he goes into his little vignette, and then it's got other clips, and you know, music, and just it's. It's it's just really I, I really like the whole organization and the way he phrases all the music and stuff together and then with the video edit it, it, it's the whole package man because I mean you know I I be fucking with you know songs and videos and mixing the shit together and you know the the way that he's been able to develop this type of uh, unique format and formula. It just really shows uh, a level of uh, organized and sophisticated creativity, you know. Mm -hmm. 
Um, I, I just, I really, you know, he's real inspiration. Look up to him a lot. Well, yeah. I mean, anyway. you, you can tell that there is a lot of thought that goes into each one of those presentations, right? If you, if you're media savvy at all and you understand what you're looking at, uh, you can tell it's, it, it really shines through in his work and it's, you know, it's also representative of somebody who has an active mind. Right? Yeah. He isn't just taking whatever's being fed to him from whatever source and just accepting it as gospel. He's like going, no, wait a minute. I have questions about this shit. Like what's going and on best here? Of all, he's Why got doesn't his, anybody uh, want to talk about this? He's got his exclamation park. He's got his little thumbprint that he puts at the end of every video where he's wearing his little helmet. He's got a little monkey puppet. And, oh, oh, oh. Fucking stone. Anyway. Yeah. yeah. All right. He, he seems some like a Deluxe. dude that With would fries just be and a living shake, down please. the street. You go down to his house and you, you smoke, you know, you smoke the afternoon away, maybe into the evening, into the wee hours of the morning. It just depends on whatever the day calls for. Right? Like he's just that, that cool dude down the street. I'm still looking Play for one back. of those in Jasper. Hopefully I find it at some point. It is um, really, I just can't compare the experience of Texas to any other state. It really is. It, it's just because, quite frankly, Texas is so fucking big. Mm-hmm. Texas is goddamn huge. I mean, honestly, there's been proposals. It's like five states in one. There's been some proposals as radical as splitting Texas into five separate states. But, you know, for that matter, there's also been proposals to separate California into different states and stuff like that. But, um, well, that should happen first. Texas. They'll go first. Show us how to do it. And it was even bigger. I mean, you know, mm-hmm. uh, the panhandle of Oklahoma, that was taken from Texas. Mm-hmm. The entire Oklahoma panhandle, that was tech, that was part of Texas. But it was given to Oklahoma. I don't know why. It'd be interesting to the, find out. The, the, uh, the map of the western states, the boundaries of the western states, real wonky. Very, very, very strange and wonky. Well, except at that one place where, like, all the four states come together and at one specific yeah, point. Yeah, because they stuck that right in the middle of the Navajo Res. <laughs> okay, we're going to put the Navajo Res straddled on four separate state governments. Yeah. But that's, you know, that's also a result of the public land system where they surveyed everything with north, south, and east, west lines into perfect square mm-hmm. townships of 640 acres per square mile and a quarter section of a quarter section is 40 acres. So here's your 40 acres and a meal and go stake your claim. How's that? Whoa, PBR. What's happening? Paps Blue Ribbon? Yeah, man. Like, what, are you on a budget? Couldn't afford Bud Light? <laughs> oh, apparently Bud Light's making a oh, want Oh, you didn't want to get caught drinking the Bud Light. So, bro. Probably. You want a pro tip? Know. Stay thirsty, my friend. So, Yona, do you know... Or Modelo Negro. If you go if you go digging through the wastewater in any city, you can tell a lot about the residents of that city. Did you know that? 
Oh yeah, that's like, not me like, saying that. That's the Rockefeller Foundation that says that. Opiates and barbiturates and methamphetamines, yeah. all the coke and meth and everything else, oh, yeah. as well as the prescription drugs. And, they know and everything. And, yeah, 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 yeah. And and because it all got comes out in the waste. And, and why do they know everything, the Yona? Two words. Because poop. Yeah. Do you do you now? Know, you know Yona? why I say that. All the time. Think yeah. About it. Think about it. Do you know, Yona, the the city that had the highest levels of cocaine in their wastewater? Uh. City with the highest levels of cocaine. I'm going to say Salt Lake City. No. No. Matter of fact, uh, an American city was not even in the top five. Oh, oh, I thought we were just keeping it red, white, and blue. Oh, no, 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 no. We're talking about the entire world. In the entire world? In the entire world. The highest levels of cocaine in the wastewater. London, England. Nope. Again, didn't even make the top five. Wow. Antwerp, Belgium. Yeah. Apparently, they love the nose candy in Belgium. I, who would have guessed, right? But that's that's that in where, the, where NATO that's is, in is the headquartered. Flanders part of Belgium. Flanders. Flemish. You know. Flemish. Homer Simpson's neighbor. Yeah. Sure. Flanders. And they speak Flemish there. Kind of sounds like Dutch. What was a French accent? <laughs> yeah. Flanders. And Kiev didn't make the top five. You know, I would have thought with Zelensky, like him alone would have made any city like top three. Because he's doing be, all the blow. Lviv didn't even all make the list? Nope. Lviv? No, it was it was uh, Antwerp. It was like some place in Switzerland and like wow. five other places that in Europe, because apparently Europe just does the shit out of cocaine. Like, Americans think they, they do a lot of cocaine? No. No. Americans are not doing nearly as much fucking blow well, as the so Europeans are. That's why you folks tune in to here every Thursday night at 10 o'clock EDT. Because, hey, it's where you get fact hard. You know what I'm saying? But that was Find early in the week. Fuck around. Because here's the thing. Was... All that white girl, that Miley Cyrus, that Hannah Montana, that bitch on European tour constantly. Yeah. I'm telling you, it's so white over there. It's like wrapped around 80 shades with the mullet. That white, white. Know what I mean? Anyway. Yeah, I think even uh, Steve covered it on AM Wake Up this week. Right. Because, yeah, it's something he would pay attention to as well. So. Where are they doing all of the cocaine? If you... If you look down, and you, if you accidentally drop the soap, and you look down Uh-oh. and realize, oh no, I just stomped a shower waffle. How do you know if it's a Belgian shower waffle? Because it'll look like it's got powdered sugar on it. There you go. It's the cocaine in your feces. Anyways, back to you, Driz. Hashtag Belgian shower waffle. Syrup optional. Oh, my. You really should have that checked out. Yeah. It might be colon cancer. Go see my specialist, um, Sean Combs, in oncology. He has the fingers for this job. Right. <laughs> yeah, he'll finger it out for you. That's right. So in most major American cities now, Yona, it is more expensive to buy a house than it is to rent one. Right. Because taxes. Well, taxes. Because the property tax. inflation, and, you know, all of that fun stuff. At this point. But it is now, it is now at the banks, point. You know, you've got people on farms literally taking out mortgages every year, refinancing their mortgage just to pay the taxes mm-hmm. at the courthouse. And if you don't pay the taxes at the courthouse, the sheriff publishes your name in the newspaper by law. They have to. 
because then they can sell tax liens out on your property. Mm -hmm. And then the people that buy the tax liens on your property can then go to the courthouse and force you out of literally evict you from your own property because you didn't pay your rent to the town sheriff. Yep. Um, well, in land surveying, we call it a master commissioner's sale. But in um, hoi polloi talk for you regular plebs out there, uh, this is uh, how you go from being a homeowner to being homeless in less than 90 days. Anyway. Yeah, because you know, it turns out even when it's private property and it's your house, you still pay rent every year, unless you get an exemption for property taxes. But you'd have to be like a charity or something, or you know, operate a church like you know the Holy Sepulchre of Lucifer or something, you know, and then you'd have that tax-free status, and you can sacrifice whatever living organisms you need to to please Satan. Um, but you won't have to pay property taxes like everyone else living in there so-called private home <laughs> anyway well again this is according to zero hedge now so I can take it with a grain of salt as far as whatever they're referring to as america's largest metro areas and i am but deliberately plagiarizing joe biden now i've stolen joe biden's favorite word because how best to get back at a serial plagiarizer than to plagiarize the plagiarizer and biden's favorite thing is to mid-sentence because you know the aliens use the chopsticks for the polyps because anyway yeah <laughs> anyway you know because he'll he'll just he's really i mean he's got a steam he's running good he's got the baton in his hand he's about to hand off the baton and then he just stops running and drops his head and says, anyway. <laughs> well, so here's here's my thing, right? <laughs> we've, we've gotten to the own nothing part, right? Yeah, own nothing and be happy. When does but the pay be your happy, rent or you'll be homeless. Right, but when does the be happy part start? When does that kick in? Um, actually, Bobby McFerrin is coming up at 1145. Um, it's got a great music video we're going to show here. Um, ironically, before he allegedly um, called Orson, I'm talking about none other than Mork of Mork and Mindy, hmm. um, who apparently nanu nanued back to um, Orson. Um, one of the last music videos that he ever made was the music video for Don't Worry, Be Happy with Bobby McFerrin. Ironic. Hmm. Uh, and of course, you know, you got the whole thing. With the... But uh, here's the thing about it. Um, in order for you to be happy owning nothing, you need to stop having any expectations and Stop paying attention to living standards. And, um, yeah, it's going to go much better for you. That way. Trust me. Well, I, I can see how you would be happier that way. Yeah. You're not, you're not concerning yourself with the things that might make you unhappy. You could probably do something to change if you actually did something about it. And Yona has a workaround around both of those with tonight's hot pro tip. Oh. Want to get around rent? Want to get around taxes? And be the top dog on inflation? And do it all in one easy step. Ooh, tell us. Sharpie and a piece of cardboard. Find one of the best intersections with the longest red lights. Go out and panhandle. And the note, I'm going to type this in the chat here, all caps. This is the note that you need to write on your cardboard panhandle sign. That's um, and make sure you misspell it like you're one of the Chick Fil A cows yeah. saying "eat more chicken," right? And definitely hit hit both rush hours too. Uh, like if you really want to maximize your returns, you you so, hit the morning um, and the evening. This is how you want to spell it: W I L S E K S number four 
F-O-O-D-E, Will Sex for Food. Now you don't have to deal with the dollar currency. You're well fed. And semen is protein as well. So you can swallow there as well. Just pro tips all around. And you don't have to worry about taxes. You know what I'm saying? Um. And then when it comes to rent, now, how would you go about okay, taxing that? People income will tip anyway? you, right? It, yeah. Trust me, people will give you the tip. Oh yeah, They'll and you can keep give the, you the tip. tip. And now you've got the rent. Some people and will even give you like, the you eat like a, you know, what I'm saying eating a king's feast every day, and you got the rent paid. And all you had to do is stand and hold down that fucking corner. But it's not about just being in the right place as drizzle pointed out you right. got to be in the right place at the right times of day remember right. morning and afternoon commute well again you you want to maximize commuters. your effort right right so you hit peak times yeah that's right Just put the right message on your cardboard there friends and you get laid and you get paid you're welcome back to you drizzle yeah yeah, and speaking of uh, taxable income, Yona, I don't know if you were aware of this or not, but it was brought to my attention earlier this week by a friend of mine that apparently the Internal Revenue Service is now resorting to extorting American citizens in order to fill the government coffers. A uh, person I know very, very well got a very threatening letter from the IRS that basically uh, gave them a, a deadline. Pay up by this day or else. And it wasn't like two or three years from now. It's like a couple of weeks from now. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. is there like, can't you just mail a letter back as a response? I mean, I haven't, I haven't seen the letter. I haven't read through it myself. Uh, so I, I probably shouldn't <clears throat> speak on any particulars in it, but I was not getting any, any indication that that was uh, going to be a possibility. There was, there was I, I don't a guess it's against the law number. to mail poop in an envelope because, I mean, I've done it. And I didn't get in trouble for it. Right. I feel sorry for the mail carrier that could definitely tell what was in that package just by the feel, the squishiness of it and the smell. Uh, but anyway, uh, wait, did I'm you sorry put it about in that. Like an mail. envelope. Well, but it had the little, like a, it, you a know, regular it was the kind of envelope, envelope? With the little air pocket things that, you know, once you open it, you can <laughs> then pop the little bubbles. Was it one of the ones with the window on the front? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. Well, well, I mean, what's the point of the Heidi ho if you can't see Mr. Hanky with his little Christmas hat on? How do you? I've had so much dealings with the IRS. Funny thing, wifey just filed the taxes today. Met with the tax filer today. Um, so really striking close to home there with the tax story. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I, my question about this <clears throat> is: this uh, a sign of things to come? Right? Is this part of? Uh, the whole infrastructure bill or whatever the hell it was where allegedly there were going to be 87,000 new people employed by the IRS in order to yeah. go after just average regular Americans. And, you know, how are you going to collect? Like, is these this taxes? how it begins? How are you going to enforce these tax laws and collect this right. revenue that needs to be collected if you don't? have these new IRS agents heavily armed well, and the motherfucking the, teeth. So Am I, was, right? I mean, here bro, was the other thing look at how many guns too. and firearms and bullets and rounds of ammunition the IRS have. Here's, here was the other thing about it too, right? Like, so they were claiming in the letter that there had been some sort of debt forgiveness deal that had been worked out by this third party in fiscal year, yada, yada, fucking whatever. Right. And, and they, that was like their whole basis for sending the letter. Right. And the person who received the letter is like, I don't have a fucking clue what they're talking about. 
like none. I, I don't know this company that they're, they're mentioning. I didn't have any debt forgiveness, like none of this shit. Huh. And so they're claiming that they're owed revenue off of that debt forgiveness deal, which is just completely off the wall, even for the IRS. Like, how are you even coming up with this shit? How would that be considered income? I think your best bet is to just go with the Yona pro tip and put the come back in income. And remember, Will sucks for food. Because um, after the IRS gets done with you, well, at least he can still go back to that stoplight by U.S. Route Highway Road yeah. Street Drive and, uh, you know, get laid and get paid. Or, but don't you, you might end up don't take a that cash diddly. if they say hey hey I, uh, hop in we can go to quiz <laughs> probably and don't 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 that. let some strange <laughs> passerby hitchhike your ass to quiz nose it's a trap secondly if they say they want to go to Bob Evans it's gonna be too much butt stuff and the Bob Evans will make you sick so ixnay on that. I think most of those Apple places feet. are going to make or you TGI sick Friday. nowadays. Let them know. Hey, I don't just swallow. I blow bubbles, and then I burp and bark. Applebee's, motherfucker. See the sign? Because, oh, you know, you people are more willing to give you food than to give you money. You think? Think about it. Yeah. Cause I mean, if you know, you all crack out and grinding your teeth and look like a fucking poster for drug addiction, you're gonna like, like, or an alcoholic or something. Like, I don't really want to give this guy five bucks. Hey, buddy. See, I think if you ask for food, they'll be more likely to give you money. Yeah. Yeah. Or like, remember the crackhead? What was it? Boys in the hood. Come on, Mm -hmm. man. I I sell you this cheeseburger, man. Come on, man. Buy us cheeseburger. I suck your dick, man. I want you to suck my dick. Crap. Buy me a cheeseburger anyway. It's uh, what was for dinner. <laughs> and you can tell because uh, we're down here live at the sewage treatment plant. And we know what you had after dinner. Because poop. Looks like a fucking white powder donut coming down through the poop chute there. Damn, son. You need to slow down. It's not absorbing. You're just shitting it straight out. I'd like to see Kate Moss versus Kate Middleton celebrity death match. Hmm. Although, have you seen Kate Moss lately? No. No, I haven't. I don't really okay. want to. Do you remember that movie with Dan Aykroyd, Coneheads? Mm-hmm. And there's a part where <laughs> um, Beldar Conehead has to narfle the Garthok for his freedom, and it's like a gladiator match against this big beast with huge nostrils and fucked up looking teeth. The Garthok is what mm-hmm. it's called. Well, that's what Kate Moss looks like right now. So let that be a warning to all those out there glorifying cocaine use. You know, one day, oh you're good God. literally like a, a fucking fashion, Dude. you know, runway model Kate Moss. Did you Next see? Thing, you look like some fictional alien creature that's waging gladiator battle. Speaking of Camel Toe Harris, and I know it's been a while since we've been back there, uh, but we we did actually uh, touch on that tonight. Did you see the pictures of her stepdaughter, who is allegedly a model? No. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll go find. So stepdaughter Ella means that that's one of Jack Emoff's, not her. Correct. Correct. Let's see. He's the first gentleman of the United States ever. There you go. The first person. 
There is oh. Ella Emhoff, the model. Oh, wow. Yeah. I used to have a pencil like that when I was in <laughs> high school, but it had like the pink hair that came out of the top. Um, wow. Yeah. It's like if my garden gnome had a sex change or something, my roaming gnome, and just take the little pointy hat off and yeah. give it some curly Jew hair. Oh, and well, maybe a, a, a size triple A cup. There's you know? there's one of her in a mask. Looking all wow. school marmy. Yeah. Wow. Let's see. Oh boy. Probably can't get the Waldo one, can we? Yeah. Doesn't come through oh too well. Yeah. That's uh oh there she is, right there. Oh boy. With her stepmom. Dude. She does have she she almost has that unibrow thing going. Poor girl. I guess we can blame that on Doug. You know, some female humans have back hair. Like this model here. That's a shame. Anyways. That's a damn anyway. shame. Anyway. And you unfortunate. Because they figure, you know, I don't need to do the back hair until I'm gonna go to the bikini tops again. Then I'll uh after Brazil from the all the way across the fucking shoulder blades and all the way down to the ass crack. Mm. I mean, you, you see the curly hair on top. Expect female back hair. I'm just saying, gentlemen, don't be shocked. It's, it's, I don't want to say it's oh, normal. It's, 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 and I don't want to say it's unique. It's just one of those idiosyncrasies of nature, as David Attenborough would say. Anyway. Sure. Something like that. Whatever. Do you think Joe has tried to sniff her? Or is she too old? She's probably too old for she's, Joe. She's too old. Yeah. She, she She's already pooping, standing up. She's too old. Is he attracted to other, just other humans in diapers, I guess? Yeah. Yeah. And of course, you know, Kamala's stepdaughter has to poop standing up because otherwise if she sits, then her hairy back gets all sweaty touching the back of the toilet. It's gross. Anyway. I had no idea we were going to go there tonight. And uh, that's just, that's well, what you, that's what you tuned in you for, know. I guess. That that's what you tuned in for, folks. Yeah. Get back to heart. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you could get you, you could get the facts softly and slowly, but don't you want the facts to come to fruition? I mean, it's a modern get world. Back to you know, people have lives; they're in a hurry. It's better right. to just take it. Two fistfuls of truth. That's just right. grunge. Plow right through, right through the wall. Be oh. ready for anything and everything. That's right. Uh, we do have to. Uh, we have. Uh, we have to stop the show for Liberty Radio public service announcement. Value uh, for value. Yeah. Uh, well, no, not value for value. This is this is more uh, uh, like health and safety type of stuff. Uh, oh. For anyone uh, planning to travel to New York City and use the subway, <clears throat> you might want to leave your weapons at home. Uh, as they are now going to electromagnetically uh, scan you as you uh, go in to the subway system. Because apparently, I guess weapons can't be made out of plastic. Uh, Is sure. that electromagnetic scanner going to affect the weed that's already loaded in the bowl of my glong? I'm sure Eric Adams would say no. Well, but the glong and the ice bullets and everything, like none of, there's no metal. How's it? Right. Never mind. Never. Exactly. Yeah. You're just, thinking, just, you're here, overthinking you know it. Take out a lighter. You're, you're just, you're thinking too Hit hard Hit that about motherfucker, it. pull the trigger. Bam. Right. Bell ringer. Bell ringer. 
Yeah. It's- so with the National Guard and the military presence on the subway platforms of the Metropolitan Transportation. Yeah, wasn't ADC, enough. Wasn't enough. MTA. No. Uh, are they going to be able to do something about the overwhelming stench of urine and feces? Not, not their uh, jurisdiction. Yeah. Uh, are those electromagnetic scanners going to be able to function in that type of humid um, sewage type environment? Oh, sure. Oh, sure. Well, what yeah. about every single time it rains and the subways fill with water all the way to the ceiling? It'll be fine. Water Nothing water. will shut down. Nothing at all. Nothing ever shuts Surely down. Surely they're waterproof. Yeah. Surely. Well, sure. if not, they better be. Yeah. Um, and and, and you know, stop calling Occasionally, me for some reason, wet stuff falls from the sky, and then there's another catastrophic 500-year flood in New York because it just rained again. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. They, they've got problems. Drainage. Issues. Well, I mean, this is going to solve uh, the, the violence problem in the subway, obviously. Yeah, because it's just, it's a matter of just keeping the wrong people out, right? Yeah. Yeah. And that's got to make your morning and evening commute, getting on and off the train, much easier as well. Yeah. Don't you feel safe now? Or I mean, just, that that is you know. if your train hasn't been canceled or if that line hasn't been closed due to emergency by dock repairs because another mm-hmm. bridge pier was found rusted into two complete pieces. So yeah. they ran out there and bolted some overlapping pieces of metal on four sides, and there we fixed it. Okay, or Lines back I've open. seen uh, I've seen right. subway trains completely taken over by the homeless, and they just ride around all day. Like like imagine Kensington Avenue in Philadelphia. Oh, but on a God. train. <laughs> on a train. On a loop. <laughs> oh. oh, and you wonder why the smart people always stand and hold on to one of the poles in the middle of the subway. Yeah, yeah, with gloves they know if what, they can. They know what's been done on those seats. Oh my! No, I'm not sitting on this. <laughs> no, yeah, no. I can still remember when the metro was like passable. Oh my God, the Washington Metro. Yeah. Have you seen it lately? No, not since the 90s. Oh my God, I just seen, I just watched a video of it the other day because I'm starting to remix New Dominion State and graffiti and like trash cans turned upside down. Just totally, I mean, like, oh my God, the Mm. fucking yellow, this Franconia motherfucking Springfield, man. Yeah. Yellow line goes right through Crystal City, right into fucking Farragut. You know, anyways, it's trash, man. Wow. And, you know, and then like the fucking train pulls in and it's got fucking graffiti tags on the fucking train cars like it's a fucking freight train. And I'm like, like wow, who, man. It, it used to look like some fuck it? Rod- what, what, man, what I thought I was on the set of Buck there. Rogers the first time I took the Metro when I was a wee little six year old. You know, I was like, wow, it was amazing. And everything was new and mm. it was modern and smelled like fresh concrete. And now it's like, did you ever want to be on a train when it's derailing? No. Take the Washington Metro. Anyway. <laughs> no, no. Well, it <laughs> when was the um the really <laughs> bad crash? What year was that? Oh, the green line. Ooh. Yeah, that was bad. Was that <laughs> well, in the two thousands? I want to say it was two thousand seven. That's that's what I was thinking. It's like mid two thousands. Yeah. I think that was probably the beginning. Of the decline. Yeah. Wow. Well, you know, you get these DEI hires. And, well, might not be the most qualified, but, you know, this is about. I don't know uh, if that's what it was back then. I think back then it was about, more about reasons. Um, inclusion and belonging. Just like Boeing. Uh, Oh, speaking of which, the um, oh, it, the CEO it's been of a Boeing, week. 
A- any more what? train? Uh, any more Boeing planes bouncing off the ground? I have not seen anything. Or parts? I have not seen anything, which is uh, interesting, right? It was there for a week, 10 days, pretty constant, and then now all of a sudden it's gone. We're on to something else. So I guess we're not supposed to think about it anymore. Well, Although, there is March Madness going on right now. There is um, sports ball tournament. Okay. March Madness, fill out your brackets. Well, I was thinking more of we had uh, Crocus Hall on the 22nd. Uh, we, yeah. had, we had the Key Bridge on the 27th. No, the 26th. Right. Uh, when you, then if, if, it's, uh, if it remains a four-day separation, there should be a third event on the 30th. Oh, you know what the 30th is going to be, don't you? April. I can tell you what the 30th is going to be already. What? Rafa. I thought they were already bombing the shit out of Rafa. Uh, the 30th is going to be Rafa cleanup day. Because mm. they just keep cramming them tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter into just one tiny little corner of the Gaza Strip. And once they've got them all backed up into one last corner, then they can go in with their bulldozers. And... It's called the D9T. The what? <clears throat> the D9T by Caterpillar. The militarized oh. armored bulldozer with rock ripper arm on the back. Yeah, built that. built special for Israel. That's right. Yeah. For the inch dick force, aka IDF. Yeah, most people don't know uh, that that there are bulldozers built specifically for the Israeli military. Right now, why, 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 why would a military need? bulldozers well it's the same reason why the inch dick force ironically calls themselves the inch dick force but they always measure in centimeters because you know it boosts the self-esteem does Mm -hmm. i mean you could say wow that's it's like almost four inches but when you say holy shit it's more than 10 centimeters long see feel better about yourself now though Metric. Metric boner, way better than imperial boner. Trust me. (laughs) Why do you think all that cocaine is used in Europe? Because it's like, man, I I can't walk around with a 27 centimeter boner all night long. I'm going to have to do some more Antwerp coke. Could be. But I mean, people you know, wake are up the next morning the and get ready for work and stomp out a fresh um, Belgian shower waffle with powdered sugar. You just won't hey, let the than... good jokes go, will you? No, it, it. Trust me, the the Belgian shower waffle way better than the blue waffle. Do not Google blue waffle. Anyway. So, Yona, do you think it is fair to say that, because I haven't, I haven't really heard anybody uh, touch on this yet, but do you think it's fair to say that 2023 was the year that trans became normalized? Yes, 2023 is the first year that trans ran on time. <laughs> they, they finally figured it out. Yeah. Doors open, doors closed, dicks fall off. Next, please. But it's everywhere now. Yep. Yeah. So oh, yeah, it's very international. I mean, you know, hell, the rainbow butt monkey man at uh, children's reading time. That was uh, a couple of years ago. That was a couple right. of years ago. That was that was preparing people for what Ridge was Library. to come. Children's story time. With um, anatomically correct uh, butt monkey man. Rainbow dildo butt monkey man. I'm sorry. Rainbow dildo butt monkey man. That's kind of catchy. 
I could do some syncopated vocals to that there, Dead Bell. But but has it been has it been normalized now? Like, are we going to see? Absolutely, from the perspective of primary, secondary, and higher education. From the pillars of institutions molding young minds from K through 12, through freshman, through graduate studies, at least here locally. Um, it's all about creating this whole Pardon the praise, Aldous Huxley, but what I'm going to call a new Epsilon class, where all these people can walk around with black rings around their eyes and, you know, dickless or titless or whatever. Um, epsilon. Just happily meet away your lives, you know. I mean, if you want more family members in your life, um, just get a pet. Right. A cat or a dog or something. Call it a fur baby. Buy a club. But, you know, you, it's you're not going to own anything. You won't even own your pets. and you, you don't get to keep the pet if you don't pay the monthly subscription fee. That's right. Everything by subscription. Again, and with the dollar continuously in, you know, losing value due to inflation, that's why it says will sex for food and not cash with an E. Kish. Cash with will an E? Yeah. Wait, sex for food because the food because the food's going to keep going up and up and up well until it crashes you don't have to worry too. about the price of the food you already suck the dick eat the food motherfucker bought the food it's because it reads the sign well sex for food <laughs> not money again escape inflation and it's a value for value system it's like you're bartering you're providing a service However, some cities do have panhandling laws. <laughs> so in that case, only panhandle again during the morning and afternoon commute. Yeah. Commute Make it as, as difficult on law enforcement as possible. That's right. right. That's absolutely right. Because they can't get to you at morning commute or evening commute. It's fucking rough. It's down. harder. Yeah. It's much more difficult. And they Traffic don't like moving difficult. slower. And now, yeah. you know, at the red light, you can go up and down all four lanes of waiting cars. <laughs> you know, somebody's out there is going to be horny and think, oh, this motherfucker cheeseburger. Bust one out real quick. Be on my happy way. Only cost me a cheeseburger. You're welcome, America. Yeah. People don't come to get fact harder to be filled with more questions. They come here for the solutions and the pro tips. And the overall smorgasbord of a buffet line of different assorted facts and varied truthinesses. Well, we we do aim to please. You know, so much so that I don't think I'm even going to talk about the American Medical Association. We're just not even going to touch that for the last 15 minutes. Uh, American Medical Association, we're going to get that in uh, Get Back to Harder 20. In our special AMA edition, um, but that's not ask me anything. It's I was going to say association. How, we don't want anyone how, to be. How would we do that? Ask me anything. Yeah. I mean, we got well, call, call it the magic white eight ball. Magic white eight ball. Ask the magic white eight ball anything. Hey, magic white eight ball. Oh, is there going to be a Great Depression this fall, right around the time of the election? Nope. Shake the magic eight ball. It says, ask me later. So we'll get to that. We'll return to that later. Give it another shake. Give it another try. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm firmly off of the uh, financial collapse bandwagon at this point. I just don't see it happening. No. There's too many games. There's too many tricks. Yeah. Well, it's, need to be that's the thing. All the is it's, all, you know, it's all smoke and mirrors to begin with. Right? There is hope. There is hope. 
But Yellen, so long as like, we all believe, Janet Yellen it's coming the faith out, and confidence in the dollar that keeps it all afloat. But no, the Don't like Janet believing. Yellen Be came scary. out this week and said that uh, was it something like uh, Social Security and Medicare are a uh, hundred and seventy five trillion dollars in debt. Well, if that's true, then there's no fucking way out of that situation. There just isn't. Well, sure because there, there is. Isn't, no, because there isn't enough GDP in the world to make up that shortfall. And if just that's print more true, money, you don't what? even have to print the money. You just push buttons or, on a keyboard and blink. How, we just how, added 15 trillion more dollars to the money supply. Problem we're, solved. We're only 30 some trillion dollars in debt. So how can... Social Security possibly be a hundred and seventy five trillion to the negative. Where's all that extra money? You know, speaking of it's all bullshit, people. It's all fucking bullshit. They're just throwing around big numbers that they know your mind can't comprehend, and they're just doing whatever the fuck they want to do. You gotta look at the United States national debt in terms of how fast. They're piling on trillion with a T. It's all made up. Trillions of dollars in debt. It's all fucking made up. It's just a matter of like weeks and months now where it used to take years to add a trillion dollars to national debt. Since COVID, we've gone into turbo fucking debt. It's insane. And at the same time, the uh, richest one-tenth of 1% have seen an ungodly windfall and in increased uh, profits and increased money. Yeah, the since largest upward transfer of wealth in human history. Ever seen. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and, and I guess ever recorded, too, because there's... So, you know, I mean, if there's, there's lots point, of evidence that's that going to be laying around if they don't completely wipe the internet. Really, at this point, if you're not that rich, you should be. Get a fourth job. You can do it. And hey, holding that cardboard sign during the morning and evening commute, that counts as a real job. You're an independent contractor, and you'll need to fill out a 1099 at the end of the year. That's right. If you can remember how many times he swallowed. Uh, The food. That was not Bob Evans. Anyway. You you. you owe daddy government 40%. Right. Just remember that. You get to keep the tip, but share some Femunda cheese with um, Uncle Sam. So has your your location been slated for a 15-minute city, Yona? Oh, yeah. Oh. That's very fortunate. Yeah, and you can tell when it's 15-minute city territory with just one implement going up and down the sidewalks around the brand new brick roundabouts at every single intersection where they've taken out the stoplights and put in European style bricked roundabouts with brick streets and brick sidewalks. And then all of a sudden, whoa, look out. You almost got hit by another one of those crazy fuckers riding one of those E-bikes. Oh, the electric scooters. They were starting to appear all over Fairfax when I got the fuck out of there. God damn it. And I mean, they Ugh. were literally just like at random places along the street. They're all over Ashland. They're all over Pullman Square. I mean, you, wow. that, you know, yeah. You Thankfully, the they haven't found How Jasper. How do you know when you're in a 15-minute city zone? The fucking... Scooter. Ugh. Mm. I, I'm just trying to hold back on the insults because I can sort of appreciate it as a form of transportation until they all just jump out in the middle of the street and then to another sidewalk. Like, just because you're on some fucking moving two-wheeled skateboard or whatever it's a segue basically kind of like a segue yeah um but with with a little bit more fearless 
Like, yeah. uh, that dude cut right in front of the fucking FedEx truck, the big box truck with the fucking deuce and a half dualies on the back and shit. Yeah. I'm fucking just right. I mean, could have been Maybe 10 he feet was away. A thrill seeker. Mac grill on his fucking front end of his truck. Not fucking fucking around on the phone. Holding with one hand. On a oh, so he's pimping. That's what he was doing. Yeah. Like Tony Hawking it over the curb and everything. Son of a bitch. That's when you know you're in a 15 minute city, so. I don't think we're getting out of this. That. And is there. Ask yourself two questions. One, do you see any e scooters, electric bikes, any of that shit? Secondly, look for the Starbucks side. Ah, uh, there's a Starbucks. There's an e-scooter. Uh, here, you can probably get a really good lease. Maybe $6,500 a month for a one-bedroom flat. Because you're in the best part of town. Yeah. I don't know. How, you know, I mean, imagine how much the taxes would be if you had one of those nice houses out there, you know, like New Braunfels, just outside of uh, Bay Park. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Shout out San Antonio. Which anyway. I, I believe uh, New Braunfels has been tapped. I believe they have. Yeah. Oh yeah. Very much so. I'm I'm going to be interested to hear some of the stories coming out of these places. You know. And you already know Travis County. Fucking lost in Austin, man. It's, it's oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Already fucking That's Travis County? Yeah. I guess that yeah. shouldn't be a surprise. Colonel Travis, line in the sand, buddy. Alamo. Oh, line I was thinking sand. more like Travis Jr. from Reno oh. 911, but Yeah. Uh, same difference, I guess. Yeah, because Austin is the state capital of uh, Texafornia. Yeah. I think it's interesting. Everybody else moved from the West Coast to Texas. I moved from the East Coast to Texas by way of Mexico. Yeah. Makes sense. So that means I actually want to be here, and I'm not just following a trend. Just I don't, guess that's what it means. I don't don't go too crazy on a drizzle and move from Texas to California. Don't do it. Well, there's a reason why everyone's leaving California. Follow their lead. You're in the right place already. Do they have Bucky's in California? No. No, they don't. don't. They don't, as a matter of fact. But if they were to figure out what the hell is going on around, you know, San Francisco and that whole area, I would consider living in California. But they would have to clean all that shit up first. I've always said, you know, the next time I get a dog and I have to go walk my dog and my dog makes me walk through the dog shit park and, you know, step around dog shit everywhere. I'm taking that dog to San Francisco. So I can drag that motherfucker through hate Ashbury <laughs> and fucking Embarcadero, make him step in human shit. How do you like that? Right. Turn the tables on your fucking ass. Yeah, you know, I just before I run out of time altogether, I just gotta ask a question. Yeah. Other than people clipping it out and laughing at this stupid son of a bitch, how many people actually watch and are like really interested in what the fuck this beanie boy Tim Poe motherfucker saying on Timcast? Like, god damn. Dude, I saw uh Derek Bros went off on Tim Pool. On Twitter, like went off on him. Yeah, I, I'm like, I don't, I don't understand. Like, I don't know where these millions of views are coming from. I, I don't know. I don't get it. I don't get any of it. I don't understand why he's like supposedly the biggest thing on YouTube in the independent space or whatever. Like, you know, I, every I time I hear or see Tim Pool, my inner monologue says, Boo this man! Boo! Anyway. Yeah, because you actually have an inner monologue. That's right. Yeah. 
Makes me the, wonder. The funniest part is a lot of times when I, I, I stop and I turn inward to reflect, to consult with the inner monologue, I'll be like, hey, hey, inner monologue. Inner monologue's like, <laughs> <laughs> what? Hmm. And I'm like, oh, I'll have to check with inner monologue later. Inner, inner monologue's a little bit too high for talk. Because, you know, sometimes, and depending on what kind of weed it is, can't get the inner monologue to shut the fuck up. Goddamn, take a breath or something. Oh, I know. Sometimes but then other bad. times, if it's like that really strong indica hybrid, whoa. Whoa, shit got a hold of you, didn't it, inner monologue? Ain't got shit to say now, do you? No. Hey, inner monologue. Silence that motherfucker you real quick. This new fucking vaccine bill that just got fucking vetoed. Oh, he vetoed it? Never mind, inner monologue. Just go back to smoking weed. We'll talk yeah. about this. It works like that. Well, that's what people tune in for. Yeah. Well, we do have a value for value system. Check out the show notes, oh, folks. For the cash app, hashtag manufacturingreality.org type Linky McLink for the donationally inclined. Oh, yeah, that's um, all uh, manufacturingreality.org forward slash provide hyphen value. That's where you go. That's where you do it. Boom. I memorized that a long time ago. Gory Orgy Walker, yo, what the fuck you mean people ain't got no inner monologue? Greg thought to himself. Oh, what up, Gory? I didn't even see you slip in there. Yeah. All right, and, so you, know, you got the, the last word. I, I can explain inner monologue the easiest way from your regular voice, right? Because it's the regular voice that says, listen, I'm not like all those other guys. I won't come in your mouth. Inner monologue immediately says inside your head, totally going to bust. That's the difference. There's the part you'd say out loud, and then there's the part that you hear inside. Right. The quiet Back part. Back you, Drizzy. Yeah. And, of course, uh, until we see you next week, as always, wish the dolegi, tongue, say, sti, ni go he lan, la di lan, ni go he dun, ni go he lan, ni go he lan. Anyway. Yeah. What he said. Peace out, homie. We'll see you next week, folks. To find out more, fuck around.